Welcome to the Weon Podcast, The Deep Dive. Get ready to look up because we're diving into something uh, pretty fascinating happening way above Earth. That's right. There is a satellite named Salsa and, well, operators are carefully guiding it back home. Back home. You mean back to Earth? Yeah, exactly. Its reentry should be around September 8th, give or take. Okay, and this isn't just falling out of the sky, is it? It sounds deliberate. Oh, very deliberate. It's what they call a guided reentry. Guided reentry. They're bringing it down from uh, a really high orbit. We're talking over 80,000 miles up. Wow, that's far. Yeah. So they guide it to burn up safely. Mm-hmm. Over a planned spot, you know, like the South Pacific, so it doesn't cause problems. No debris left in orbit, nothing landing where it shouldn't. How do they actually steer it? They use its leftover fuel, basically, and yeah. control its orientation to manage the descent path. Okay, got it. And you mentioned this isn't the first one. Right. It's actually only the second time this has been done quite like this. There was yeah. another one, uh, Elolis, that came down similarly. But it's not just about getting rid of it, is it? I heard there's more to it. Exactly. That's the really interesting part. They're actually... Um, Learning from its destruction. Learning from it? How? Well, they're studying how it breaks apart, how salsa fragments and burns up as it hits the atmosphere. Right. Sir. By tracking, you know, its composition and seeing how the different materials react, they hope to figure out something crucial. Which is? How to design future satellites so they, well, basically don't create any debris when their mission ends or minimize it drastically. Oh. Huh. So watch it burn up to build better satellites later. That's yeah. actually quite clever. It really is forward thinking, yeah. And Salsa isn't alone up there. Yep. It's part of a groom, a quartet called Cluster. The others are named Rumba, Tango, and Samba. Cluster. Salsa, Rumba, Tango, Samba. I see a theme. Hey, yeah. And they're all scheduled for similar controlled re-entries over the next few years. So this is part of a bigger strategy then? Definitely. Okay. It ties right into the growing concern about space debris. It's becoming a real hazard up there. Right, you hear about that more and more. So these guided re-entries, they show a real shift. Instead of just abandoning satellites, agencies are now actively managing their end of life. And it's responsible stewardship of space, really. A big change from how things used to be done, I imagine. Absolutely. It raises that key question, you know. As we launch more and more stuff, how do we keep space usable and safe? And studying things like Salsa's reentry helps find those answers. Precisely. It's vital work for the future of space exploration and operations. Well, that's a fascinating glimpse into Salsa's final dance and what we can learn from it. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Definitely stay tuned. We'll have more intriguing stories like this coming your way.